Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Ortank on Docker. This installation will be done on a Linux machine which already has Docker installed. If you need help installing Docker, there will be a link down below in the description. For the Ortank installation we will be following the instructions on my Open Integrator community. Here in the community post we have the instructions and I'll leave a link down below in the description. The first link here in the instructions is pointing to the Ortank book and the website includes instructions for Docker installation but this web page itself does not include a clear Docker compose file which you can use as if as is including uh, for example an OHIF viewer. So instead um, I, I found a link here which is pointing to the Orton GitHub page and there is an Orton uh, setup samples page here which is giving um, some getting started um, Docker compose packages with different com uh, with different included integrations. So the one which I'm most interested in is the OHIF viewer integration. So here in the sample it's explaining that installing two Ortank containers, one with an OHIF plugin included inside the container and another Ortank um, container which is pointing to and a separate OHIF container and here it's instructing just to start the setup with the docker compose and then you can have the two URLs but if we actually check the docker compose file we get a bit more clarity on what it's doing uh, so first there is an nginx container then we have an OHIF container and this is built when this docker compose is um, executed. Of course you could leave this out if you don't want both Orton containers but I'm just going to install this now as is in the example and the, then the, there's the Orton container which is um, being integrated with this separate OIF container and here we have the URL to the uh, to OIF and it's pointing to the Postgres database here for Ortank and then there is the other Ortank container which is including the OHIF plugin so to my understanding in this case OHIF is running inside this Ortank container and here we have the URL to the OHIF when, when OHIF is started that's the path which it's using and then it's again pointing to the same Postgres database so even though it's two OHIF, uh, sorry, two Ortank containers both will use the same database there's only one database being installed here and only one Ortank storage also like DACOM files will be shared between the two and one thing to note here also is that since this is building the OHIF container would you also need the dependencies which are included here so there's an nginx docker file here and there is an OHIF folder with a docker file for the OHIF container and so this is building the, the OHIF container on the fly and there is the I think this will be the apt configs which OHIF will be using so it's pointing to the Daikun web interfaces of Ortank. So reading through this it means we actually do need to get the other files besides docker compose YAML we can't just copy that one file and then run the docker compose command instead we need to well, the best way is to just do a git clone so that's why I'm instruct 
instructing here to start the installation with the git clone. Okay, so let's continue by copying this first command here, git clone, pointing to that GitHub repository. We are on the Ubuntu machine, connected via SSH with putty, and just copying this command in here and running it. Now we have a folder called our tank setup samples here with all the files needed. So let's next copy the second command here, which is just cd. Sorry, messed that up. cd to go to the correct folder. If we just press on ls here, we can see we have the docker compose yaml file here. here. If we want, we could actually just fix something in the YAML file. We could go with nano to the docker compose YAML. And since I will be, instead of running this browser on the local host, uh, my host name is Ubuntu. And I will use my laptop to connect to that. So the OHIF URL needs to be also fixed for, for it to work. So if you're installing this and running the browser on the local host, you don't need to change this, but um, if you're installing it on a different uh, Linux machine, then insert your IP or NS name for the Ubuntu machine here. Yeah, and now we need to press Control O to write out and then Control X to exit. Now we have those saved into the file. So then we can proceed to the next step sudo docker compose up build and copy this command in here and run it. And this will take a while because it's pulling the docker images and it will be also building the OHIF image. I'll pause for a while to let it run. Okay, now the build process is ready and all the docker containers are started. And if we go into portainer, if you don't have portainer installed, that this is a very handy user interface, web-based user interface for docker. Leave a link down below in the description for my installation instructions on it. So anyhow, Doc, uh, portainer shows that we have a new stack called OHIF, and this is the stack which has now the Ortank container and or the two Ortank containers. So this first one, which says Ortank OHIF Ortank container, is the one which is pointing to the OHIF container, which is running OHIF separately. Nginx is just for doing some of the routing of the web traffic. And then we have Postgres database, which is used by both Ortank containers. And then Ortank-plugin is the one which has OHIF loaded inside the Ortank container. You can exit the shell if you press Ctrl X sorry, control C, but that's actually also stopping all the containers. So then you can go back to back to the OHIF stack and you can see all the containers stopped, but you can start them here again to make them running again. And now if we go into the instructions here, we can see that we can access or tank at the this access this URL, but just because I'm not running laptop, I need to insert Ubuntu here, which is my DNS name for the Ubuntu machine. And we can access the system. There's no login password or username needed. For, for testing, you can upload files here. You can press on select files and then browse to a file and click open and it will upload it. And now we have a study here, actually two studies, and we have this is the OHIF button here. If we 
select the study and press on the OHIF button, it will launch this study inside OHIF. The other URL here works as well, so that's our tank dash plugin, so we could access that as well. And here we are in the Ortank dash plugin user interface, and well, it looks pretty much the same. And uh, we have the view OHIF button here, and it works as well. And we can launch into OHIF. The other study as well. And it works as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have some questions or comments, please leave those in the community linked down below. Thanks for watching.